Hello everyone and welcome to a new lecture of Udo Technical Training. Today we are going to learn more about Dunder Enid.py and Dunder OpenERP.py. Udo module is a regular Python module so that we will use Dunder Enid to import all files and directories containing Python code. We can say that Dunder init is used here as Python package initialization. As you can see, we are using the keyword import to import Python files, controllers, and models, which are Python files, as you can see. We write their names with no extension. Now, let's go to learn more about the OpenERP.py. As you can see, the OpenERP is the Udo module manifest and contains a single Python dictionary with declaration of the module. In this file, we declare the module's name and summary description and for sure the author website category dependency and here data files <coughs> And finally, demo data. We are going to learn how to edit this file step by step. Let's go on with the name of the module. Students. Okay, let's find the module. Here, here we are. Students. This is the name of the module this is the name of the module as you can see let us change it to be student manage system okay we need to reload the server And update module list. Then update. Okay. As you can see. The name is change it to be students management system. What about the summary? I will use the same name student management system. Something is wrong with management. Okay. Okay. Let's go back for the description. Long description of the module purpose. Okay. In this section, you may want to add, you have to go to the beginning. Okay. Uh, you may need to have a title like student. Management system. Okay. You add titles, titles like that. Then you can describe this module as you want. This module will manage 
all the details about students. Okay. Here. Okay. Author your company. Let's be. My name. I will be. I will write my name. Merge. Website. I will write your name. The category. The category would be. Let's say. School. Management. Dependencies. By now we have no dependencies, but we can use it later. Data. In this section, you will need to add all XML or CSV files included in your system, which will be loaded every time you re reload the server or update your module. Demo data right here will not be loaded unless you choose to use demo data. So we need to see our changes. As you can see, description, summary, author, website, uh, category. So we need to reload our server. Everything is okay. is okay. Then update module list. Then update. Let us reload this page. Okay, as you can see, the author is MajD, website is yodimi.com, category school management, summary, students management system, and your description, as you can see. Technical data will define if you have, and technical data will define if you have demo data states and dependencies and the section of dependence as we have seen before thank you for watching